certainly have been a lot of scary things said in this year's campaigns. Now words like rigged and hacked are being thrown around. That has some wondering if their vote will even count during this election. News 5's Frank Wiley's live at the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections. Frank, a lot of people are beginning to have doubts about the entire process here. Yeah, that's the truth. We talked to the people inside this building earlier today. They broke it all down for us. Here's what we learned. They Presidential candidates have been fielding questions for months, but recently, amid GOP nominee Donald Trump's claims of rigged elections, voters have turned concerns to the folks who will handle ballots. We put the questions to the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections. A lot of people have told us that they don't want to vote absentee because they think their vote's not going to be counted, which is absolutely not true. Kathy Bajic handles community outreach for the Board of Elections. She and the rest of her team have been urging people to get their votes in. Some absentee voters wonder if they'll even be counted. On the contrary, all of the absentee ballots that we receive before election night or election day, I should say, are counted first on election night. She says as soon as someone requests an absentee ballot, it gets mailed their way. It only takes a couple of days. Once it's completed and returned, the voter can check online to see if the Board of Elections has it. The process we use for opening the envelopes requires the envelopes to be face down so that we cannot actually see who voted for whom. Political teams are supervised to make sure ballot envelopes are upside down and not the ballot counting process. And the guidelines to vote by mail, here goes. You'll need your full name, your address, date of birth, and the last four of your social as well as your signature. For now, we are live downtown. Frank Wiley, News 5.